going to Sacramento and going to Kennedy High School as I'm there to watch another UPSL North Cal North Division match between Elk Grove Blues versus Sacramento United. Now, we're winding down to the latter part of the season in the spring season of the UPSL North Cal North Division. And for the host Elk Grove Blues, there really isn't much that they have left to play for this season. In fact, they can't wait until this season and because it's been a disastrous season for them sitting at the bottom of the standings. Well, for Sacramento United, it's the complete opposite. They still have a lot to play for for the remaining part of the season. Uh, they're currently sitting in fifth in the standings and just one place outside of the playoff place but this is also the game in hand for them in terms of all the team around them and if they can get a win in this one they can actually jump as high as second place in the standings and still potentially can get first place heading into the final match week of the 2023 spring season in the upsl north cal north division so yeah let's see how this game is going to turn out Let's go soccer! So we've just arrived here at Candy High School and we're actually now inside the stadium and as you can see, these are the Elk Grove players doing their pre-game warm-up. So as I walk along again, looks like the traveling Sacramento United player have made their way in the stadium and just a bit they can also do their pre-game warm-up. We still got about 30 minutes before the beginning of this match. And now it looks like both team is heading to the center circle. In just a bit, we're going to get ready for the start of this match. Between Elk Grove Blues and Sacramento United. And the referee gets this match underway. Elk Grove Blues will be going all white tonight, going from left to right. While Sacramento United will be going with their red and black kit, going from right to left. So we are underway here in Sacramento, here at Kennedy High School. As here comes Sacramento United. They're gonna try to play this one back, and that one, well, that was a woeful effort that. Didn't even go out. It's actually just going to be a throw in here for the host. Here comes a free kick for Elk Grove Blues. And this one is just outside the 18-yard box. It's a five-man wall here for Sacramento United. There's a player laying down the ground preventing that low-driven shot. So because there's nobody there, is he? Maybe Elk Grove Blues trying to go for that low-driven shot, and indeed, that is the case. It's blocked away, and the second effort is gathered by the keeper. Now Elk Grove Blues can go on the transition. Oh, what a ball this is, and he might be in on go. Big opportunity for the opening goal, and it's saved by the keeper. As Well, that was a massive chance there for Elk Grove Blues to get the opening goal. This is going to be a free kick here for Elk Grove Blues. This one's a little bit further away, but definitely in range to strike it. And here it is, and that is going to go high. So here comes Sacramento again. Can they finally break through? It's a low curling effort. It's just high as I think that is actually going to be a goal kick. It didn't touch off by the goalkeeper to head to that final game of the season in that Sacramento Derby of getting a win as he's able to keep this one in play looking to try to center this one and it's gathered by the keeper as well he was able to just about saving that off the line and now here comes Sacramento United as this game has opened up trying to play this through ball on this left side only one man in the box here for Sacramento but help is arriving and looking to try to cross this one in. Start to run out of real estate. Now he's going to play this one center. And it's in the back of the net. And Sacramento United has taken a 1-0 lead. And, well, I'll tell you what. I didn't think it was going to happen in this game, especially with the way that they have not really looked that good going forward on the attacking end. But they finally it was able to break through that resilience there from Elk Grove Blues and they take a one nothing lead here 37 minutes into this game so here comes Sacramento United again oh what a ball this is and now looking for the cutback and it's wide as well that was a big miss opportunity for Sacramento United to double their lead and uh, that player I think he's gonna be thinking about that later tonight as he found himself in good space and he just could not quite connect his neck muscle back to hit head it into the empty net. Here comes Sacramento United again. That's a good ball on the left side. It's an early cross, and it's going to be broken up there in a vital moment. And that is going to be the halftime whistle. Halftime here at Kennedy High School in Sacramento. It's the visitor, Sacramento United, for a 1-0 lead 
over Elk Grove Blues. So it's halftime here at Kennedy High School as it's Sacramento United with a one nothing lead over Elk Grove Blues. But I thought Elk Grove Blues for a majority of the first half was the better team. I mean, I thought they played very well in the first 35 minutes. They had a couple of opportunities, especially on the transition. And Sacramento, you know, despite having a lot of the possession, they just weren't able to break down that Elk Grove Blues defense. Well, that all changed in the 35th minute when they finally broke through to get that opening goal and ever since that you can start to see Sacramento start to ask some more questions on this Elk Grove Blues defense but heading into the second half you know I think if you're Elk Grove Blues I mean you know it, you'll be disappointed that you can see the goal and you maybe be a little bit hard done of being down despite playing very well in the first half but you know I think their message from the manager is more of that that same thing and definitely show a little bit more more uh, clinical finishing in the second half because you know if Elk Grove Blues can continue the way that they play in the second half I don't think this game is by any mean over and I think Sacramento United knows that too they need to be much better in terms of dealing with the transitional play that Elk Grove Blues did because they did not do a good job there in the first half but we'll see whether or not if they're gonna maybe get that second goal to get themselves a a bit of a cushion and get themselves a massive three points heading into the final match week of the UPSL NorCal North Division season. And now it looks like both teams is back on the pitch and in just a bit we're going to get ready for the start of the second half between Sacramento United and Elk Grove Blues. the referee gets the second half underway well for Elk Grove Blues after a bit of a hard done first half where they were the better side but find themselves down one nothing can they regroup themselves and get themselves the equalizer whereas for Sacramento United uh, right now they're sitting in second in the standings in the NorCal North Division as we speak can they potentially put this game away and get themselves a 2 nothing lead as we're underway here at Candy High School in Sacramento. And now this is a long driven ball. What a ball this is and what a first touch. Here comes Sacramento United and that is gonna go wide. And well, I'll tell you what, the buildup of that was just perfect from the visitor. It's a great long ball to play through his teammate and that player even bought it down cleanly, but all he had to do was just the finishing and the finishing was anything but good. Sweater fatigue, this might be a factor. It's going to be high and wide there. It's going to take something special to score from that distance. See, there's a five man wall set up here for Elk Grove. Instead, they're going to do something off the training ground, and it's just wide there. Well, I'll tell you what, that completely fooled this Elk Grove Blues team. Any extracurricular thing that has happened as the ball comes into play, and it's in the back of the net. And El Grove Blues have tied the game up. Well, the fans celebrate here in the stands, and it's all square at one apiece between El Grove Blues and Sacramento United. Now here comes Sacramento, and he's in on go here. What a save! And it's countered by the keeper as well. That might be a match-winning save here from that goalkeeper well not really a match winning but probably a game changing save too because that was a big opportunity for Sacramento United to retake the lead but what a big save that is from that Elk Grove Blues goalkeeper to keep this one tie at one apiece into the fifth minute of stoppage time in this game I think the whistle is going to be blown as this ball is put back into play, and indeed it is. It is the full-time whistle. Well, some late drama here at Kennedy High School, but in the end, it ends honors even between Elk Grove Blues and Sacramento United. So it's just finished here at Kennedy High School as in the end it finished honors even between El Grove Blues and Sacramento United with a 1-1 score line. And I'll tell you what, for a second half where really for the majority of it not much really happened, things were kind of tense in the last 10 minutes of this game. And there was even a very controversial call where uh, the El Grove Blues players were absolutely incensed when one of the Sacramento United players looked like he committed a back pass toward the goalkeeper and it was just getting so crazy that even the fans kind of were yelling in the stands and that the manager for Elk Grove Blues came really close to potentially getting himself sent into the stands. In fact, uh, Red Carr was actually in the hands of the, the referee and 
and that you know again if he if that manager would have said something a, a little extra he probably would have been stand into the stands but that kind of really motivated this Elk Grove Blues team because they really pushed forward to get themselves the equalizer and they did exactly that and then both teams trying to get the late winners in the final uh, minute and even into a bit of a stoppage time in the second half but yeah in the end it ends honors even and you know for Sacramento United the good news is they have moved themselves up to fourth place and I think they're in a playoff position but the bad news is is that it, it could have been more for them and their chances of potentially finishing at top is pretty much next uh to impossible but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys do a like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time with another sports hop series episode